Vedanya Krishna Krishnaya Bhutale Srimati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Nityanami Namaste Sarasati Devi Gauravani Pucharine Nevisesha Srinavadi Pucharine Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya The ninth chapter is right in the heart of the Bhagavad Gita. So the ninth chapter, Lord Krishna begins by describing how this knowledge is Raja Vidya, is the king of knowledge. Yes, everyone come forward. Let us see. Let us see. Let us see. Let us see. Let us Chapter 7 to Chapter 12 is describing Bhakti Yoga. 
முதல் அத்தியாயத்தில் வந்து பகவான் கர்ம யோகத்தை பற்றி சொல்லுகிறார் அதுக்கு அடுத்து வந்து ஏழு பன்னெண்டில் வந்து பக்தி யோகத்தை பற்றி சொல்கிறார் And Krishna puts the most confidential knowledge in the middle of this section, the ninth chapter. And he keeps the, the most confidential knowledge for the, the last verse of the ninth chapter. But he began the ninth chapter by describing how this knowledge is Raja Vidya and it's also Raja Guryam. It's the king of knowledge but it's confidential knowledge. Confidential because most people are not interested in spiritual education. Most people are simply in the bodily concept of life. But Krishna had described this in the beginning of the, this section, in the seventh chapter, where he said, uh, out of thousands among men, only one is endeavoring for perfection. பகவான் கிருஷ்ணன் They have no interest. They just simply only their only interest is sense gratification. But we have to understand that the human life certainly has a greater purpose in it than simply satisfying the senses. All the different species of life, they're, the animals, they're all busy in eating and sleeping. So the human life is different. because we're not only meant for eating and sleeping but we can we have a higher intelligence and the mistake is to think that that intelligence is just meant for improving the quality of our eating and sleeping in the tavargal vande namba vande in the thungi indha mari indha vande namba adu vande namba munna munnu kondarathu paakanum So Srila Prabhupada uses the expression, he says, polished animals. Yeah, just like these car cows, they could, they could be polished, right? If they were polished, it would be glass, you can polish it, it will shine. You know, so if we, we polish something, it, it, But it's the same thing but it, it looks better so the same way we we are doing the same thing as the animals but it just looks better we go to the restaurants and you sit in the restaurant and maybe they have nice table cloths and there are so many different uh, cutlery and whatever and it, 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 it appears to be very advanced but it's the same business the dog is eating some from some some bowl or some food, whatever remnants he finds in the street and we're sitting in the restaurant and we're eating, it's the same business, just simply eating. 
இந்த மாதிரி நம்ம செய்யக்கூடிய வாழ்க்கை வந்து மிருகத்துக்கு நமக்கு வித்தியாசம் என்னன்னு சொன்னா நம்ம வந்து ரெஸ்டாரண்ட் போறோம் அதுக்கு வந்து சும்மா சாதாரணமா சாப்பிடுறது இதுதான் நமக்கு உள்ள வித்தியாசம் So Lord Krishna describes this knowledge as the king of knowledge but it's confidential because not many people are much aware of it. Bhagavan Krishna vande idhu vande romba mukhyamana oru vishayam solugirar idhu vande romba ragasiyamana uyarnda arivu solugirar. So then Lord Krishna goes on in the in the ninth chapter he brings up He brings up barking dogs, you see. <laughs> he brings up a very important point how Krishna relates to his devotees. Bhagavan Krishna in the way that he tells us, "Marudhi men should be glad that he put on the back of his head a little bit of sandpaper." The the relationship that Krishna has with his devotees is very special. பக்தர்களுடைய தொடர்பு வந்து பகவானுக்கு பக்தர்கள் தொடர்பு வந்து ரொம்ப முக்கியமானது முக்கியமானதாகும் Samoham sarva bhuteshu na me dveshosti na priya Krishna says I am equal to everyone I am the no one I am equal to everyone Krishna Bhagavan சொல்றாரு Samoham sarva bhuteshu அப்படினா நான் வந்து எல்லாரோடையும் சமமாக இருக்கேன் நான் எல்லாரோடையும் சமமாக So Krishna is saying he is not partial. It's not that he likes somebody he doesn't like others, but he says I have a special interest in my devotees. Bhagwan Krishna said, "I am not your only one. Para Pancham Kami ki mandi hai. Anal, bhakti ke liye kundi, and our Tanya ne government bilay kiya chhodga." Krishna goes on in the same verse as he ever janti to mambata mai te te shu chakya. Whoever renders service to me, then he is a friend. He is in me, and I am in him. Bhagwan Krishna told me, "Yar, yar, or the one who is serving or serving our Lord, our Lord, one who is the most important one. Non, our Lord is our friend. Our Lord is not our friend." So it, it appears to be like a contradiction. You know, Krishna said he is equal to everyone, but this is not fair, is it? அவருக்கு <laughs> someone who never did any service should get the same benefits as somebody who does very great service idu vandu na vandu partha mukkaltanama irukkum yaar oru thar vandu indha oru sevigal seiyama avargalukku vandu krishna vandu anugraham kudukkar so we see lord krishna giving special importance to his devotees and probably explains is it just like a mother likes all children but she will have a special love for her own children bhagavan vande prabhu sodra bhagavan vande bhagavan bhaktakal mele vande romba anba irukkar adhe mari or thai vande ella kulandigal meleyum anbu seltukkargal ana adhe nerathil than sonda kulandik vande romba mukkiyamaana anba seltukkar and prabhu pad explains this is natural this is not partiality it is just natural that the mother has a duty to look after her own children தன்னுடைய <laughs> for those who have given some service to him bhagavan krishna vandu ella bhaktargal mari romba romba thani anbu seldukkar adhi nerathil vandu romba mukkiyamaga yaar oru thar service seigraangalo avarku mela adhigam anbu seldukkar we may say why why you know krishna is supposed to be equal to everyone yes he is equal to everyone but according to their work according to what they deserve they get the reward நாம எல்லாம் கேட்கலாம் ஏன் கிருஷ்ணர் வந்து எல்லாரும் படியும் சமமாக இல்லை 
It is not partiality, it is not favoritism, but it is due to what? Because if someone has done something to deserve that love from Krishna. We give the example just like in the court of law. Someone may come to the court of law and they have been injured. Maybe some, uh, there was some, uh, something fell down in the, on the construction site and the man got injured and so he's coming to the court of law and the judge hears the case and then he awards compensation and he gives a big sum of money to the injured man as compensation for his injury. And then someone else comes in the same court of law before the same judge and he's a criminal, he's robbed people. And so he comes to the court and the judge sentences him to jail for 10 years or something. So someone cannot accuse the judge of being partial. The judge is simply awarding people the results of what they deserve. It's not that Krishna is being unkind to someone and kind to somebody else, but everyone gets the results of their own activities. And we see in that this same chapter, uh, it, Lord Krishna explains, he says, the famous statement, Lord Krishna says to Arjuna, Kunti apriti janehi name bhakta pranashati. Lord Krishna tells to Arjuna, Arjuna, you declare that my devotee will never perish. And Lord Krishna wants Arjuna to declare it boldly. He says, go out with symbols and matanga and make a loud sound, make a lot of noise and then declare it to everyone, tell everyone that my devotee will never so Lord Krishna told Arjuna to declare this because he wants it to be accepted by people everywhere. Arjuna is a Kshatriya. And the Kshatriyas are generally known for being truthful people. Just like uh, Maharaj Dattara never told a lie. Maharaj Yudhisthira never told a lie. They were great Kshatriyas. They were known for their truthfulness. Lord Krishna, on the other hand, he knows that in a little while he's going to go into the battlefield in Kurukshetra, and he knows that there's going to be some problem for Arjuna. And when Bhishma comes to and threatening to kill Arjuna, at that time, Lord Krishna will have to break his promise. Bhagavan Krishna Vande and the Pur Garthal Pura Pavande, Tumba Nevi Sigra, Avi Vande and the Bishma Vande, Arjuna Kula Grande Terri, and the Samita Vande and the Ida Vande Vidya Vandi Vakira, Purakira. 
Lord Krishna had promised not to fight. But when he sees Arjuna's life is in danger, Krishna will break his promise. Bhagavan Krishna told us, "Poor Gartha, now when the Sunday for a matin, Adi Nath told us, 'Arjuna will be when the life goes to Romba, Pali paid for it, or not? Or when the our visit is done.'" You know, Lord Krishna promised, "You can have my army. Someone can have my army, and someone can have me, but I'm not going to fight." பண்ண <laughs> You're not even trying hard to kill them. Bhishma vande Duryodhana vande romba thavaraga yesukira nee vande indha sandha porathukku saathiyam illai nee vande pandavargal vande kolla kodiya nokkam unkku illai endru. So that was a great insult to grandfather Bhishma. Idhu vande Bhishma ku vande oru romba insult vandu. Aama mana 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 idha vich Of Shatriya, they have to keep their vows. Their vows of the, the sense of honor is very great in the Shatriyas. And if they are accused of not being, of not fighting very well, not trying very well, then it's a great insult to their honor. So Bhishma was quite angry when this accusation was made against him. Shatriyas are the elite men. When they are in the army, when they are in the palace, they are the guards. And the same thing when they are in the army, Bhishma is a very strong man. They are very strong men. So grandfather Bhishma bowed. He bowed. Tomorrow you wait. Either I am going to kill Arjuna or Krishna will break his promise. Pa Bhishma sorgarar Duryodhana ikka vande nee indha mari sonna naala vande na nichayama naalaikku vande Arjuna ne kolla poguren. Illa Arjuna Krishna vande avudaiya vaaga vande odaikka poraar appo. So it happened that Arjuna's chariot got in trouble. With the wheel came off his chariot, and Bhishma was coming close. He was closing in on Arjuna, ready to kill him. And same thing, when the Arjuna was there, there was the one who was there. After that, Bhishma was there. Either there or not, Arjuna was there. Arjuna was there. So at that time, Krishna saw the danger, and he rushed and picked up the chariot wheel, and he ran towards Grandfather Bhishma. அந்த சமயத்தில் भगवान கிருஷ்ணர் பார்க்கறாரு அந்த அர்ஜுனர் கொண்டுவர அப்படிங்கே அதே நேரத்துல அவருடைய வாவ உடைச்சி உடனே வந்து அந்த தேரோட சக்கரத்தை கொண்டு போய் பிஷ்மரே கொல்ல போகுறார் and he was ready to throw the chariot wheel into the face of grandfather bishma but just at that time bishma surrendered அந்த சமயத்துல வந்து அந்த சக்கரத்தை தூக்கி பிஷ்மரே வந்து கொல்லிறதுக்கு கிருஷ்ணர் भगवान முன்னுக்கு போகுறார் அவர் வந்து பிஷ்மரே சரண்டர் அடைகிறார் bishma was happy he saw krishna had broken his promise bishma bishma vande romba santosha padigira krishna vande avudaiya promise vande odachidara so we should understand when krishna broke his promise he is showing something to us an important point that mundane morality is not as important as devotion bishma at the samayathil vande pa sagar krishna vande avaru satyate We may think, oh, it's very important to be truthful. Krishna shouldn't have told a lie. He should keep the, his vow. He shouldn't have broken his promise. But Lord Krishna is more concerned for his devotees than for his own honor. Now, my dear, 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 my dear. நிலமையில் <laughs> He is teaching ahimsa. 
and then they think, oh, himsa, non-violent, so it's very good. But that is not the highest principle of religion. Rather, the highest principle of religion is to develop love for God. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu always said, Prem Punarto Mohan. The goal of life is to develop prem, love for Krishna. So you may be truthful, you may be non-violent. These are not the highest, this is not the goal, the ultimate goal is not the highest thing. Lord Krishna didn't come just to teach non-violence or just to teach morality. So Lord Krishna is coming to teach something more than this thing, the highest thing, and that is Krishna Prem. Bhagavan Krishna Vande, in the eye, when the Gunangapati Pesha Vande, Krishna Vande, yeah, Prema Pati Pesha Vande Krak. And we're seeing that love, of that love, we're seeing that love in devotees. We see how much Arjuna has loved for Krishna. So, in the Antosal, in the Antosal, so when we when we speak about the ninth chapter, we're talking about the most confidential knowledge. The, the most confidential knowledge is to develop this love for Krishna. And Lord Krishna concludes that ninth chapter by giving us four activities which will allow us to develop that love for Krishna. Manmana Baba Matbhakto Madhyaji Mam Namaskaru Mamma Vaishati Satyamte Lord Krishna is saying, engage your mind in always thinking of me. Become my devotee. Offer obeisances to me. And worship me. These four activities, this is what comprises the most confidential now. So first of all, Lord Krishna speaks about the mind. We have to use the mind to think of Krishna. We know there was a great devotee, Maharaj Ambarish. He was using all of his senses to perform all wonderful activities in the service of Krishna. But the very first thing he would do is fix his mind on the Lord's feet. So before we begin our chanting every day, we have to fix our mind on Krishna. 
நாம் வந்து இப்போது வந்து பகவானுடைய அடி மகாமந்திரத்தை நம்ம ஜம செய்யறதுக்கு முதல்ல வந்து நம்ம மனசை வந்து பகவானுடைய பாதத்தில் நம்ம முதல்ல செலுத்தணும் நான் முதல்ல வந்து ஹோட்டலில் போய் விக்கிரங்கள் முன்னுக்கு போய் நம்ம வழிபடுத்து முதல்ல வந்து நம்ம ஆரோக்கிய சேர்த்து முதல்ல வந்து நம்ம மனசை வந்து பகவானுடைய பாத கமலத்தில் நம்ம செலுத்த வேண்டும் So to think of Krishna, we have to hear about Krishna regularly. We want to read Prabhupada's books and then that way then we'll be able to think more about Krishna. So, first of all, think of Krishna and then offer obeisances to Krishna. நாம் வந்து பகவானை நினைக்கணும் அதுக்கு பிறகு பகவானுக்கு நாம வழிபடுத்தணும் சரணை சில நினைக்கலாம் நமக்கு வயசாச்சு நான் வந்து என்னால துணிஞ்சு நான் உபசம் செய்ய முடியாது எப்படி நான் செய்யறதுன்னு நினைக்கலாம் and they can also be offered with words it's not only with the body and the mari obeisance is not only with the body but also with the mind and with the body and with the body we can do it just like often when you talk to each other on the just like often when you people talk to each other on the telephone they will they may say please accept my humble obeisance and when we talk to each other on the telephone they may say please accept my humble obeisance மனது மூலியமாக வந்து நாம வந்து பகவானுக்கு மரியாதை செலுத்துகலாம் that mood that the humble mood offering a patience is meant to help us develop humility inda mariyana valipurigale vande romba daivana idha vande nam eppozhudhu vande practice panna vendum the goswamis would offer hundreds of patiences every day ivani chundi aayiram kanakana nootu kanakana idha obisesu vande deal seigiraanga they were goswamis but whenever they saw the goti they would fall at the feet and offer a peace goswamigal epeyume vande bhagavanudaiya paadathil vande saranadigirargal bhakti siddhanta sarasati prabhupad used to offer a peace sees to his disciples bhakti siddhanta sarasati maharaj vande avangala vanakkate vande avangudaiya bhaktargalukku seluthukirar ippozhume so offering a peace sees is also a part of our devotional process நம்மளுடைய வணக்கங்களை நம்ம அடுத்தவங்களுக்கு செய்யறது வந்து இது வந்து நம்மளுடைய ஆன்மீகத்திலே ஒரு ஒரு பகுதி sometimes we see devotees also do obeisances around the govardhan hill சிலமத்தில வந்து நம்ம பக்தர்கள் வந்து கோவர்தன் மாரிய சுத்தி வணக்கங்கள் செலுத்த நாம் பார்க்கலாம் sometimes the devotees who do their obeisances around radha kund சிலர் வந்து பக்தர்கள் வந்து ராதா கொண்ட பக்கத்துல வந்து தன்னுடைய வணக்கத்தை செலுத்த பார்க்கலாம் I've seen the Buddhists also they will do their obeisances they will go to the temple offering obeisances the whole way Buddha patakal kuda aale Buddha koyil ponalum avangalude vanakkathai avanga vikram munichi seiyaraga We want to cultivate that the mood we, we don't want to avoid offering obeisances but we should be eager we should think oh this is a chance for us to develop more humility இந்த வழிமுறைகளை வந்து நாம் ரொம்ப தாழ்வான முறையில் வந்து எப்பயுமே அந்த வணக்கத்தை செலுத்த வந்து நாம் தெரிந்து கொள்ள வேண்டும் அண்ட் தென் கிருஷ்ணஸ் இஸ் ஆல்சோ பிகம் மை டிவோட்டி ஹவ் டு பிகம் அ டிவோட்டி வாட் டு ஐ नीड टू டு டு பீ அ டிவோட்டி சோ கிருஷ்ணன் என்ன சொல்றாரு என்னோட பக்தனா நீங்க வா எப்படி நீ பக்தனா வரதுக்குன்ற வழிமுறை சொல்றாரு well there are many things which we can do of course the dress of the devotee is also nice put on the tilai where the neck beats are out and coat the neck beats all of these things help us to be devotional 
நம்ம இந்த பிரார்த்தனை வழிபுறைகளுக்கு பல வேகமாக செய்யலாம் நம்ம வந்து நம்ம உடைய செய்யலாம் திறக்க போடலாம் இந்த மாதிரியான வகையில் வந்து நம்ம பகவானோட வழிபுறைகளை செலுத்தலாம் பட் மோஸ்ட் இம்பார்ட்டன் ரொம்ப முக்கியம் வந்து பகவானுடைய நாமத்தை வந்து நாம ஜபம் செய்யணும் and the chaitanya charitamrita is described how one devotee satyaraj khan he was a very nice humble vaishnava grihastha so he went to see lord chaitanya ma ma prabhu jagannath puri he came all the way from kuliyagram in ma in navadvi and he came all the way to jagannath puri to attend the rathi yatra and he got the opportunity to meet with lord chaitanya and ask him a question adhe mari satyaraj khan vande jagannath puri ki poi vande satyanya mahapurava paathu eppadi anda idha vande theriyum nu kelvi kekkara so he asked lord chaitanya mahaprabhu he said to chaitanya mahaprabhu he said you know i'm i'm a fallen soul i'm in family life how can i ever make advancement ஜபம் <laughs> How do I recognize who is a devotee? So I want to let the Mahaprabhu take care of yaar eppadi bhaktagala mudana therindukolvendum therindukolvendum Sometimes people are dressed like devotees but they don't behave like devotees Sila samayangal vande bhaktargal vande avanga udaigal vande bhaktargal mari podukolgrargal ana bhaktargal mari nadakkadillai So they are actually pseudo devotees they are imitation devotees அவங்க எல்லாம் வந்து ரொம்ப ஆரம்பத்தில் உள்ள பக்தர்கள் பின்பற்றுவதில்லை So that he asked Lord Chaitanya, how can I recognize who is a devotee? Lord Chaitanya told him, anyone chants the holy name one time, he should be considered a devotee. அவர் கேக்குறாரு எப்படி நான் பக்தனை புரிந்து கொள்வது அப்படின்னு அப்ப சைத்தன்ய மகாபுரம் சொல்றாரு யார் ஒருத்தர் வந்து ஒரு ஒரு தடவையாவது பகவான் நாமத்தை வந்து ஜபம் செய்யறாங்களோ அவர்கள் வந்து என் பக்தன் சொல்றாரு So sometimes people think oh very good i only need to chant one time so sila samigal vande sila vande romba santhosh padargal na oru tharava bhagavan naamathu sonna na bhaktana vande venu appinte i don't need to do 16 rounds for chaitanya said any just one time you have to do so nam 16 maalai nam seiyavendilla chaitanya mahaprabhu oru tharava sonna podu appi padi santhosh padvaru actually lord chaitanya was describing how somebody is beginning krishna conscious வழிபடுகளை <laughs> இது ரொம்ப ரொம்ப சந்தோஷமான விஷயங்க ஒரு தடவை சொன்னாலும் திருப்பி திருப்பி அதே மாதிரி ஒரு தடவை வந்து ஒரு இதுல வந்து கடாக தாஸ் என்றவர் வந்து ஒரு முஸ்லீம் பார்த்து நான் வந்து இந்த மகாமதத்தை ஜபம் செய்யும் சொல்லி சொல்கிறார் 
the name the man was Gadahar Das. Gadahar Das. So Gadahar decided he went into the man's house in the middle of the night, and the man was sleeping in bed on his bed, sleeping. And Gadahar went into his house and said, "Chant Hare Krishna. I want you to chant the holy name. I want to hear you chant Hare Krishna." Our beautiful Kunde, when a number of atri we the tuji kundarindar. At the same time, when the our tuji kundar kappa, our when the chant is thirty. Now when you chant Hare Krishna, you jump to see a pretty Hare Krishna Mahamantra. Solen choli thirty kakra. So this ruler, this Mohammedan man, he sat up on his bed and he looked. He said, "Oh, Gadahar." It's the middle of the night. I will chant Hare Krishna some other time. Come back in the daytime. And the Muhammadi Raja Ali Sulaire, na ipo ande middle of the night. Rumbar nadu ratri achi. In this middle, solum dey achi. Ida ande naale ke na solugra. Ni apur apin solugra. But Gadar has said, "Oh, very good. You've already chanted your." Oh, ab Gadar ko solugra. Ni oni nalla de. Ni poni yada Hare Krishna madhte soli ke apin dra. Your spiritual life has already begun. उन्होंने आर्मी का बाल के आर्मी की तरफ दिल्ली। अरे इस अप्राप्त पर आप इस इस व्हेन समबडी चेंज यू गेट देम टू चेंज दैट इस द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द स्पिरिट। रूप आदर एक पौधे में सोल कर रहे यार उन तरह आर्म द जब हम से आर्म बिकराएंगे तो अधिना उन्हें आर्मी की तरफ उंडा को कोडिया मदल बड़ी। Teach people how to chant the Mahamantra. Now, we pose them when they, Makkal when they, the Mahamantra. They, how to chant the Mahamantra? We are told to do it. And anybody can chant the Mahamantra. Yaru me in the Mahamantra. They say that. Even people have material desires and they're sinful. They can still chant the holy name. Yaru or their thavargal, jada valke yudu patrigal, angulam the Mahamantra they daran mal sarala. Sri Mat Bhagavatam says. आकामा सर्वकामो वा मोक्षकामा उदारजी तिब्रिना भक्ति योगेना यजेता पुरुषम परम Even one has all material desires or no material desires or desires liberation, whatever condition is in, he should worship the supreme Lord. इंदौर मणिदेव कलाबर मणिदेव कल इंदौर मणिदेव कल ने नमक को दे जाड़े वाल के इल्ला आशी का गिरन दरन दालों या उन लोगों में तो जब जब तक सुल्ली भगवान ने बड़ी पढ़े लाओ। Somebody may think, oh, I need money, I have to do my Lakshmi puja. फिर नहीं पंगे, ना ने गुंदे, ना मैं काश भी ना, ना मुझे लक्ष्मी पूजे से इवन तो मौकी दे। And I have a health problem, I have to do Surya puja. ये ने गुंदे, वो ना कोई शरीर ले ना मुझे Surya पूजे से इवन नहीं पड़ेग and I have some problem with my digestion. I have to worship Ashwini Kumar. Yes, one day, the health problem will be now the Ashwini Kumar and Jamu Singh will be part of it. And this way, there's a long line, and with education exams are coming, I have to do Saraswati Puja. In the Mari, Pala, Vaga, Vaga, Pala, Pera, Nama, one day, in the Mari, Sindhya, say, put a band here. So the 33 crore devas, you can do the puja for all of them. नमक कौन से मुक्ति मोन कोड़ी देवर कल इधला अभी बढ़िया इधर कांगला आऊँगा आते ने पर नम पोज़ सेव इन्दो। But if you simply worship Krishna, the Supreme Lord, then you said you get all the benefits. कि नम इधर जी कुटे भगवान कृष्ण रे जाबन जाबन सिंजी आवडी है आवर वाली पट्टा इधर लाम बंदे नम के नाटन दूँ। All the problems are solved simply by going to Krishna. इल्ला परिचय नमक को ले इल्ला परिचय के लिए चिंतु उड़न भगवान कृष्ण नम बड़ी पड़ता। Don't have to worship any other god। नम वंदे इन दोरु देवर के लिए नम बड़ी पड़ता है वो इल्ले। So we just encourage the devotees, we just worship Krishna. And even Dhruva Maharaj, we see Dhruva Maharaj going to the forest. He had material desires, but no problem. नम वंदे यार ये बड़ी पड़ने नहीं इल्ले। Even Dhruva Maharaj वंदे अवर वंदे जड़ा वाल के लिए � और काटी ऊपर पे भगवान कृष्ण रे वली पड़ता। Dhruva Maharaj was also chanting the holy name. He was chanting the mantra given to him by Narada Muni. Dhruva Maharaj वंदे Narada Muni पुरते अन्न मंदर अंगले वंदे भगवान मेले जब चीड़ा। And he had material desires. He wanted a kingdom bigger than his grandfather. और उनको जाने वाले जाने वाले के और उनको दे परी राज्य में नो और उनके फादर उनके तापन और उनके राज्य में निकलते और उनके अन्न नर्पले इंदर इंदर Right, Dhruva Maharaj is the son of Uttanapad. Uttanapad is the son of Swayambhuvamanu. Swayambhuvamanu is the son of Brahma. 
So Dhruva Maharaj wants a kingdom greater than Brahma. So Dhruva Maharaj one day, our Taupanara would have a very good kingdom in Surte, Raja Bhairi to get Peter. He had material desires, very big material desires. Our Kunde got a very asigal, very asigal in the day. But he got his desires fulfilled by the grace. So the point is, you can chant the holy name even one time. That's the beginning of spiritual life. And in the beginning, we may have material desires. That's all right. But these material desires will be purified in course of time. So this Satcharaj Khan, he heard anybody who chants the holy name one time, he's a devotee. So he thought, okay, he went away. Next year he came back and again he met Lord Chaitanya and again, again he asked him how to recognize a devotee. So Satcharaj Khan one day, he said, we have a devotee, we have a devotee, we have a devotee. Marupudu and Chantini Mahabharu were getting, you put in our day, or Pakhtana Purjapulu and Purjapulu in Sikhatra. So Lord Chaitanya told him this time, one who chants the holy name regularly, constantly, he is a devotee. Bhagavan said, Chaitanya told him, Yar or Tarunde, Bhagavan or Namatunde, Torunde, Jama Chinjit Kanga, Ungada, and the Mian Pakhtagunde. Just like initiated devotees. They take a vow to every day chant sixteen rounds. Dicha the Bhakta Gurunde, Aungande or Sati Matagraga, Aungande or Nalaki, Padanar Mala Jabu Saiyan Sati Matagraga. No days off, no holidays. Rather you get a holiday from your bank or from your work, you use it to chant more. Namukunde, Libele Leo, Indi, Namukilibri Dalam, and the Divan Allah, and then Namunde, Bhagwan Namata, poor Jabasino. So the chanting goes on continually. The Jabamunde, Narandra Magan of Sinti Munde is going to. That is the intermediate stage in chanting. Even now, and then Namuke, Arabagalam. One person just began to chant, chanting one time. Other persons chanting regularly. He's a devotee. And then another year later, Satcharaj Khan came back again. And again he asked Chaitanya Mahaprabhu how to recognize a devotee. Marupudi Munavas in ten days, Satirajka, Marupudi Mahaprabhu, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in the party, Yepudina Bhakta, Marupudi Purundi Kulu in the Kakara. And Lord Chaitanya said that person simply by seeing him makes other people chant the holy name. He is a devotee. Bhagavan Chaitanya told him that he is a devotee. 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 So there are different levels of devotee. There are different stages in chanting the holy name. There are different stages in chanting the holy name. Somebody is chanting Nama, maybe chanting but with the fences and moving Nam Aparat. Usually every morning in the temple, we will say the ten fences in chanting the holy name. Sometimes people don't know these things. Even sometimes you get initiated devotees. They don't even know the ten offenses. But everyone should know, they should learn what are the ten offenses in chanting the holy name. And we should make an, an effort to avoid these offenses. And the most common offense which comes in chanting the holy name 
is inattention in chanting the holy name. So in the Narmuri la path and Sunna Rumba Sadar Namaga Vandi, Bhagavan Japan Sira Pandi, Rumba Governor Tudan Vandi Bhagavan Namata Nama Java Sivan. We have to learn to chant with full concentration to hear the holy name. How to hear, how to chant, you have to chant loudly, you have to hear, use your tongue to chant and the ears to hear. Don't listen to your mind. Don't become absorbed on the mental platform. The mind is thinking about other things. We are trying to chant, but the mind is not here. We're not hearing. So that becomes offensive chanting. And it said, you may chant the holy name for many births, but if but you will not get the goal of all this chanting until we avoid the offenses. And the goal of all this chanting is to develop love for Krishna. So that is the Namapara, then there's nam, Namapas, which is the shadow of the name, the intermediate level in chanting, where they want to avoid the offenses. We're making some attempt to try to avoid the offenses. Haridas Thakur described that one who is chanting at the level of Namabas, he has achieved liberation. One smarter Brahman became very angry when Haridas said that. He could not believe it. But Haridas Thakur guaranteed that it's get anybody who not chanting at the intermediate stage, they are liberated. Means they're not enough, they're not on the material platform. But to come to to come to the higher level, to come to the topmost level, we have to understand there's no difference between the holy name and Krishna himself. That is the Shuddha Nam, the pure name. When, you, when we are chanting with that feeling that Krishna is, is his name, one devotee was giving class about the holy name and he was saying Krishna is in his name but Prabhupada was listening and Prabhupada said no he said Krishna is his name if we say Krishna is in his name, that is not correct. We have to understand Krishna and Krishna's name are one and the same. So the holy name is described that it is non different from Krishna. When we realize that and when we chant that the name with that feeling that this is Krishna, that is pure chanting. So we want to come to the higher level and chanting the holy name, that will allow us to be become devotee of Krishna. 
Lord Krishna said, become my devotee. But what kind of devotee? Kanishta devotee, Madhyam devotee, or Uttama devotee? There are different levels of devotees. Well, at least they're all devotees. It doesn't matter really. If you're Kanista, you're still a devotee. You may be a materialistic devotee, but you're a devotee. And that's that's what counts. Kanista devotee only sees God in the temple. He doesn't see God in the heart of other living things. So Kanista devotee can advance, he will get the mercy from another devotee and a more advanced devotee. You want to advance, you have to get association, you have to come to get association, find out association with other devotees who can guide you. So Kanista devotee can get the mercy from another devotee. That Madhyam devotee, he is the preacher. He will make distinction. He will give mercy to the innocent and he will avoid the atheists. But you will avoid the atheists because if you try to preach to them, they'll become more offensive. And that's not good. So the Madhyama devotee makes distinction. He gives mercy to the innocent. Those who want to hear, you he will preach to them. But people who are just atheistic and arguing and folk complain, you won't spend time with them. Bhattimadigayarivandhi.Bhattimadigayarivandhi.Yarundhi.Bhagavanarnamatha.Kekkanunasapurangalo.Aungalikundhi.Aungalikundhi.Aungalikundhi.Aungalikundhi.Aungal
we, we don't care what level you are, that you're a devotee, we're happy, give me that association. And then Krishna says also to worship him. And how do we worship Krishna? We can do things like offer a leaf, a flower, fruit, water with love and devotion. Krishna is not anxious to get the offerings. But he wants the love. He wants the, 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 that love which is given when the offerings are made. So Krishna mentions about bhakti twice in that one verse. So when we make offerings to Krishna, we want to make these offerings with love, not just mechanically. But we want to actually call to Krishna that please come and eat. When you offer the flower to Krishna, we should think, Dear Lord Krishna, I'm so fallen and unqualified, but I've got this flower, I'm offering it to you. Please kindly accept it. So Lord Krishna appreciates the, not the offering, but the attitude which is offering is made. Bhagavan Krishna Vande, Namrodiya na Nevitya Pakala, Namrodiya. We want to cultivate that mood, that proper mood in worshipping Krishna. So in this way Lord Krishna is describing this most confidential knowledge. He mentions it in the ninth chapter and then it comes again in the 18th chapter just to confirm it. Something is important, Krishna is repeating the instruction. Alright, any question? Okay. We often go to people in that situation. We will often go to the homes of people who are leaving the body and we want to be there and chant the holy name for them. We 
இன்னொரு கேள்வி இருக்கு எனக்கு இப்ப நம் குரு மகாராஜ் எல்லாம் வந்திருக்காங்க கிளாஸ் கொடுத்துட்டு இருக்காங்க ஸோ இந்த கிளாஸ் கொடுக்குற டைம்ல வந்து நாங்க உள்ளுக்கு போய் குக்கிங் சேவா அந்த மாதிரி செய்யும் போது இது ஏதாச்சும் அபென்சிஸ் ஆகுமா நாங்க கிளாஸ் கேட்காம It's not an offense. You are doing service for the devotees. Krishna will bless you. Not only Krishna, but the devotees will also bless you. Because you are cooking. And you should make arrangements that, who, you, that somebody records the class and afterwards you hear the recording. You can say that the Maharaj class is recording and the class is recording. And you can say that the class is recording and the class is recording. Actually, in many temples around the world, we arrange that the, the, whatever is going on in the temple room, there will be a speaker system in the kitchen. So everyone in the kitchen, they can hear the class as it's going on. Yella koil gale vande, and the kitchen la vande, nige poi sava siyara po vande, angko vi speaker vi kipanga, and the speaker muli maga, nige and the class a nige kek laun. Where are you going? Now, Maharaj is asking one question. The world is so greeting, we are almost facing danger. We do not know where we are going to lead to. So much of problem and everything, so much of anxiety. In such situation, what is the only choice we have to move forward? I am going to say, the world is not going to die, but the world is not going to die, and the world is not going to die, and the world is not going to die. அந்த மாதிரியான சூழ்நிலையில வந்து நமக்குள்ள ஒரே ஒரு வழி என்ன எப்படி நம்ம தப்பிக்கிறது இந்த வாய்ப்பு வந்து என்ன பகவான் கிட்ட நம்ம சரண் அடையிறது தான் வேற வழியே இல்லைன்றாரு Let me completely commit myself to devotional service. Maharaj, you know, the Maharaj, 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 the Maharaj. You show an example, and then others can follow your example. You can see the Udharan, the Kamchik, and the other people, and the other people, and the other people, And even a small percentage of people will become fully Krishna conscious and makes a big change in the world. In the Kunjum Kuravana Piva Makkal Vande, the Krishna Bhakti Kalakra Vandana, Arthamla Pate, Mulela Pin Patroya. Maharaj, some people, I notice also, there are devotees who are not fully committed taking shelter of a guru, a guru or sadhu, but they do a lot of seva. They do the collection of money, they do all these activities, but they are not committed for years, they are not committed taking the shelter of gurus. So what will be their position, Maharaj? They are committing in their spiritual path, they are not committed. Okay. Prabhu Kekrad. பூஜையிலோக்கவில்லை <laughs> 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 Maharaj said, Bhagavan Krishna said, He 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 said
just simply oh he's not initiated so he can't go back to god enodu vende initiate ende idu vende teacher edutranga idanal odane avanga vende vai kondu poranadu illa but somebody has done a lot of service and certainly then they have a very dear relationship with lord krishna so yaar othar vende evargal evargal servikal seyrarala nichayamaga bhagavanude kulachana thodarpu avangalukku irukku and they may not go back to godhead but their next life will take birth in a family of devotees avangal undu vaikundathukku goluka povamudiyadhu irundhalum adutha idhila vende marupadi patna vende munnukarukkule vaippu irukku born in a family of devotees from their birth they have the opportunity to come to me bhaktargal kurumbathila perandu marupadiyum vaalkaiyila munnukarukkula vaippu irukku whatever progress they have made in this life they will go on from that point in the next life எந்த எந்த லெவலுக்கு நம்ம நம்மளுடைய இந்த ஆன்மீகத்தை நம்ம செலுத்தி பிடிக்கிறோமோ அதிலிருந்து அடுத்த ஜென்மத்தில வந்து நம்ம தொடர்வோம் they never lose whatever benefit whatever whatever activities have done whatever devotion has done that's there it goes in their spiritual bank account இதில் எவ்வளவு ஆன்மீக புண்ணியங்கள் நாம எவ்வளவு சம்பாதிக்கிறோமோ அது வந்து அடுத்த வாழ்க்கையில நமக்கு தொடர்ந்தே வரும் so they will go on in the next life ide adutha valkil thodarum hari krishna maharaj grain sire bishma dev maharaj was a grain sire for both karwa and the and the pandava and everybody knows him very well krishna also is very well versed in him but when he attacked arjuna uh, was he not why not uh, you know he, he, thinking that he is a grand sire krishna was he not protecting him that you know that to attack him what was the main reason because he was trying to protect arjuna or krishna bishmar vande avar pitamaha avar vande na bhaktar garaj avar gade rendu vakkama avar vande pitamaha அர்ஜுனர் பாண்டவர்களுக்கும் பத்தாமாக கௌரவர்களுக்கும் வேண்டியவர் ஏன் வந்து அர்ஜுனர் கொல்ல போறார் அப்படின்னு பிரபு கேட்டார் எஸ் பீஸ்மஸ் ஆல்சோ திபோதி பட் இஸ் ஆன் தி ராங் சைடு ஹி டுக் தி சைடு ஆஃப் அகைன்ஸ்ட் கிருஷ்ணா அகைன்ஸ்ட் அகைன்ஸ்ட் தி பாண்டவர்ஸ் பீஸ்மர் கிருஷ்ணா வாஸ் டு ஷோ இஃப் யூ ஆர் ஆன் தி ராங் சைடு யூ கேன் நாட் பி விக்டோரியஸ் பீஸ்மர் வந்து பெரிய பக்தர் ஆனா அந்த சண்டேல வந்து அவர் தவறான ஒரு பாதையில போய் அந்த பக்கம் போயிட்டாரு அதனால வந்து கிருஷ்ண பகவானுடைய குறிகள் என்ன பாண்டவர்கள் பாதுகாக்க வேண்டும் and remember bishma was guilty that he stood by he didn't protect dropadi when they tried to just rope her so bishma வந்து அவருடைய குற்றங்களுக்கு வந்து அவர் தெரிஞ்சிருக்கு திரௌபதிய வந்து அந்த துணிகள அறைக்கு எடுக்கறப்ப வந்து bishma வந்து இந்த இந்த ஒரு சொல்ல சொல்லாம பேசாம இருந்துட்டார் அதனால அவர் அவர் தவறு அவர் புரிஞ்சிருக்கிறார் so because bishma had that defense he had he's going to die so bishma kondu theriyum adu vande na chinda thavaru indanaala vande na avane na adula adipotte na saaga vendum appadi avu theriyum he chose to fight against krishna he didn't choose he didn't choose to fight on the same side as krishna he chose to fight against krishna avaru avaru vande krishna rode seendu sanda polla bhagavan krishna ku edirpa vande sanda potta there any more questions abhijit last question hari krishna ji maharaj ki tak tak mango do bhai sinthe aur glory ki ki ka prabhu pa just a guru maharaj has mentioned the what some people not ready to hear the glories yet so we cannot uh, talk about the glories but we can ask them to chant but a guru maharaj we are guru maharaj gave me the service of having the reading class so in the beginning of the reading class there were more participants uh, but uh, some participants uh, because in the in, because uh, in the bhagavad gita right from the beginning itself sri la prabhupada establishes lord krishna as a supreme personality of godhead so from the very beginning itself it's already glorifications lots of glorifications throughout the bhagavad gita so uh, these participants uh one of them told me that uh, for them lord shiva is uh, they are they are supreme 
So they cannot hear the glory of uh, Lord Krishna. They left the group. Two sisters left the group. But others stay on, but not very regular. Regularly coming are just a small group of them. They regularly come. Uh, so uh, I'm trying to understand uh, what Guru Maharaj is saying about like the person is ready or not ready yet at that stage to hear the glories of Lord Krishna, but uh, can't be helped because in the Bhagavad Gita, the glories are always there. Every single sloka, the glory is there. So how uh, how do we uh, try to assess the audience, the, 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 these participants? Uh, but what is their own uh, personal worship? Uh, are they very strong demigod worshippers? Uh, are they receptive to hearing about Lord Krishna? Can Guru Maharaj please advise me how to uh, uh, manage this uh, situation? Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I'll just answer. You, I think uh, you have to be more careful in how you present the Bhagavad Gita to people. It's not that you have to give them the whole book to read. Yeah. If you simply take the, you know, the main points of the Bhagavad Gita, you don't have to take the, these points which are emphasize Krishna as the supreme personality of God. Mataji, in the Kaliya Tan, Sula, Sula, when the Bhagavad Gita, Padi Kiranga, Bhagavad Gita, when the Nereya Krishna Bhagavan, the glory, Pukala Pati, Aram, the Trinity, Karasari, the Sudhir, K, of the Ethnic, the Padchirin, the if you look at the texts, you know, the texts, it's not so much. The posi Krishna's position as the personality of God it doesn't come out until about the, the tenth chapter. It's the tenth chapter where Arjuna says you're the supreme. But before that, you've got nine chapters there, you know. It's not so much emphasized. When Krishna speaks, they say, Sri Bhagavan Vacha. All right, so he's Bhagavan. You can touch on that. But that doesn't necessarily mean that he's God. You know, I think you could, I think it shouldn't be so bad. We've done the, the Gita Gyan, that Gita Gyan course with the slides, the PowerPoint presentations on each chapter. Many people have got a good impression from that. You could use those slides, you can make your own presentations. Don't give them the whole book. If you're worried about this and you know you feel that you know they're Shivites or something, that you know just don't use the big book, the book. Until the until later on. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. They don't even understand the uh, scriptures, and that they are speculating on their own. Who's the Supreme Lord? Something like that. No. Who doesn't understand? I'm telling you. I'm just asking a question because those people were not. By reading Bhagavad Gita, still they couldn't understand. They don't understand Bhagavad Gita. Well, they already have devotion or faith for Lord Shiva. They already have their own understandings. But somehow they're willing to hear the Bhagavad Gita. So I think you can present it in a manner without letting them, without confronting them too much about the position of Krishna as the Supreme Lord. That comes out later in the Bhagavad Gita. Maharaj, you said that there is a lot of attachment to the Bhagavad Gita. But if you are not able to do this, you can't do it. That's why they are not able to do it. Yes, that's true. Yes, that's true. Of course, you could say, well, early on Krishna is described as the Lord of the Bhagavad so he killed the demon Mandu, so that means he was God, he's actually Vishnu. You know, it's covered. Most people won't pick up on that. They want to understand the Bhagavad Gita, what can you do? You can't re rewrite the Bhagavad Gita just for them. We're presenting Bhagavad Gita as it is. If they don't like it, what can we do? We can't change it just for them. Guru Maharaj, the evening classes is a bit closer to the Guru Maharaj compared to the Gita Gita.
yang structure and we have a meeting classes to start translation and then line by line of the Rupat sesudah the Rupat perform so uh, inevitably have to go through all the lines and then um, uh, what you call uh, understanding the lines without any alteration so it's not a, a, a picking and choosing the, the, the reading classes it is every single thing every single line so they, in fact they are appreciating also some are saying that uh, without going to Surah Prabhupada's purpose there's no way the translation will ever be understood but then some are the appreciating for the Prabhupada wrote his book like that so that people could not misunderstand it. Just like when it says Sri Bhagavan Upacha, Prabhupada puts the Supreme Personality of Godhead said. Now one man said to Prabhupada, he said, This is this does not it doesn't mean this. Is it it just says Bhagavan Upacha and you put the Supreme Personality of Godhead said. And Prabhupada, this man's very intelligent. He understood my purpose. <laughs> I don't want them to misunderstand. I want them to know who is Krishna. Okay, thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Thank you.